Hey, good evening. Tonight's dinner menu consists of spaghetti with garlic bread. I'm not going to bore you with my spaghetti sauce recipe because it probably doesn't stand up to what you make at home. But I am going to share the garlic bread recipe because the garlic bread recipe is killer. I'm a subscriber to Cooks Illustrated, Country Cooking, and America's Test Kitchen. I made this garlic bread one time oh, about a year ago and this is the only way I make my garlic bread. It is delicious and I'm going to share it with you. The recipe calls for six tablespoons of butter. Really? A stick is eight. Why not just make it eight? Mine is going to be eight. This recipe calls for a football sized loaf of Italian bread. My grocery store did not have one today. The only one they had was already sliced. So what I got instead was I bought a full loaf of Cuban bread. And it's got about the same softness as the Italian loaf. So I'm going to cut this in half and then half it again and this is what I'll spread the garlic butter on and this is what I'll use for the garlic bread. I have my eight tablespoons of butter, not six, with a, maybe a quarter to a half cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I've got roasted garlic that I did on the stove top in the pan. I use the same method I did for my garlic butter. I'm going to run these through the garlic press into that butter and I'm going to mash everything together. There's one stick of butter, quarter to a half cup grated Parmesan cheese. The recipe calls for about 10 cashew sized garlic cloves. Mine were a little bigger. I roasted those in a pan on the stove top about 15-20 minutes. I just kept rolling around so any side that touched the pan could get some heat. I'm going to run those through the garlic press into the butter. There's also a half a teaspoon of salt in here. There's a stick of butter, half a tablespoon of salt, about a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and all of the garlic pushed through a press. I'm going to mash it all up and make a paste. There's the butter, salt, cheese, and garlic all mashed together with a fork and made into a butter ball. It's ready to spread on the bread. Okay, got a rack in the middle of the oven. Set the oven for 500, bake. Let it preheat. There's half of that Cuban bread cut in half. It's time to butter it. Try to get the butter spread as close as to the edge as you can. Even overlap a little bit. Now we're going to put these in the oven. 8 to 10 minutes. When you hit about the 7 minute mark, I'd watch it to make sure it doesn't burn. The oven's preheated. I'm putting the bread in. Set a timer for 5 minutes so I can rotate it. And set a timer for total time. All right, we're going to rotate the bread. This bread's been in the oven 10 minutes. I wish you could smell it in here because it smells wonderful. All right, we've got the finished product. Garlic bread came out of the oven about 10 minutes. That is so good. Wow. I recommend getting a soft bread because when you cook it in the oven for 500 degrees for 10 minutes, it's going to get crunchy. And if you start off with a, a more solid bread or a crustier bread, you might knock caps off your teeth or whatever. But this is really good. Like I said, I made this one time for a group of people, and it was a hit. And I've made my garlic bread like this ever since. It is delicious. So I suggest you give it a try. Thanks for watching. It's delicious. Mmm.